The United Kingdom has embarked on a historic defense initiative by announcing that it will produce E-7 Wedgetail Airborne Early Warning and Control Aircraft for the United States Air Force, marking a milestone in post-World War II transatlantic military collaboration. For the first time in over 80 years, British facilities will manufacture high-value military platforms for the U.S., reflecting a significant shift in industrial and operational integration between the two nations. The decision underscores a growing strategic alignment at a time when NATO faces escalating security challenges across Europe and the Indo-Pacific, emphasizing the importance of advanced intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities for modern coalition operations. The E-7 Wedgetail, derived from the Boeing 737 Next Generation commercial airframe, represents one of the most sophisticated airborne early warning platforms in operation today. It incorporates the Northrop Grumman Multirole Electronically Scanned Array, MESA, radar, an active electronically scanned array mounted on top of the fuselage capable of simultaneously tracking hundreds of aerial and maritime targets at distances exceeding 300 miles. The aircraft is designed to deliver a broad spectrum of capabilities, including airspace management, command and control, and real-time battle management, while offering faster radar scan rates, improved target fidelity, and lower operational costs compared to its predecessor, the E-3 Sentry AWACS. For both the U.S. and U.K. Air Forces, the E-7 will become a cornerstone of airborne situational awareness, providing critical support for joint operations and coalition interoperability. The introduction of British-manufactured E-7s for the U.S. Air Force addresses an urgent operational need. The E-3 AWACS fleet, which has served the U.S. for decades, is approaching obsolescence. Aging airframes, rising maintenance costs, and limitations in countering modern threats, including stealth aircraft and ballistic missiles, have made the replacement of the E-3 a pressing priority. The E-7 offers significant performance improvements in contested environments, ensuring that the U.S. maintains a robust command and control capability in multi-domain operations. Its integration into the American fleet is expected to enhance air superiority, improve coalition coordination, and strengthen strategic deterrence across multiple theaters of operation. The decision to involve the UK in manufacturing US bound E 7 aircraft carries implications beyond industrial output. It signals a deepening operational convergence between the British and American militaries. By producing these aircraft in Birmingham, using newly built commercial airframes adapted for advanced surveillance missions, the UK will contribute directly to the resilience and sustainability of the US AEWNC program. Boeing Defense UK will oversee the structural and systems modifications, creating approximately 150 new skilled jobs and expanding the existing workforce dedicated to the Royal Air Force's E-7 fleet. These developments align with Britain's broader defense industrial strategy, which includes significant investment in regional defense growth, national skills development, and the creation of specialized technical colleges to train engineers, avionics specialists, and systems integration experts. The UK's involvement in producing E-7s for the US also demonstrates the growing role of domestic supply chains in supporting allied defense capabilities. Over 40 British suppliers are currently engaged in the Royal Air Force's Wedgetail program, and the construction of new engineering facilities at RAF Lossiemouth with Scottish firms will further strengthen the nation's aerospace infrastructure. By integrating production and maintenance efforts into a shared NATO and Five Eyes framework, both the UK and the US enhance the reliability of their surveillance networks, mitigate supply chain vulnerabilities, and ensure that fleet upgrades can be implemented rapidly in response to emerging threats. From a strategic perspective, the move represents a significant step toward more resilient and interoperable coalition operations. The UK and US share common defense priorities, and a unified AEWNC architecture enables both nations to respond more effectively to crises, coordinate air operations seamlessly, 
and maintain information dominance. Analysts note that shared production and systems integration capabilities not only improve operational efficiency but also safeguard critical intelligence and surveillance infrastructure from geopolitical and logistical disruptions. By developing E-7 aircraft jointly, Britain and America are creating a model of transatlantic defense collaboration that balances industrial growth with strategic readiness. The E-7 Wedgetail program also carries broader geopolitical implications. NATO's eastern flank faces mounting pressure from potential adversaries, while security concerns in the Indo-Pacific continue to rise. In this context, a robust airborne early warning network becomes essential for both deterrence and crisis response. The deployment of E-7s enhances the coalition's ability to monitor contested airspace, detect potential threats early, and coordinate multi-domain operations across vast theaters. By sharing technology, production responsibilities, and operational standards, the UK and US strengthen their collective defense posture, demonstrating a unified approach to addressing global security challenges. The aircraft's technological advancements reflect the evolution of modern AEWNC platforms. The MESA radar system allows the E-7 to track low observable targets, manage complex air operations, and provide real-time intelligence to commanders at multiple echelons. Unlike earlier systems, the E-7's newer airframe and avionics suite reduce operational costs and improve mission readiness, enabling longer deployment durations and faster mission turnarounds. These capabilities are particularly critical in high-intensity conflict scenarios, where rapid situational awareness and precise command and control can determine operational success. The aircraft's performance against emerging threats such as ballistic missiles, unmanned aerial systems, and stealth aircraft positions it as a decisive tool for modern air forces. The industrial benefits of the program are equally significant. In addition to creating high-skilled jobs, the project reinforces Britain's role as a key player in global defense manufacturing. The collaboration with U.S. contractors ensures that the transatlantic production loop is robust, with final assembly, testing, and fleet integration carried out in the United States while structural and systems modifications occur in the U.K. This arrangement not only strengthens supply chain security but also facilitates knowledge transfer, enhances technical expertise, and fosters long-term industrial resilience for both nations. By establishing a joint framework for production, maintenance, and sustainment, the E-7 program exemplifies how allied defense cooperation can produce tangible economic and strategic outcomes. For the Royal Air Force, the acquisition of three E-7 aircraft, scheduled for first delivery in 2026, complements the broader modernization of Britain's airborne surveillance capabilities. The integration of these aircraft into the RAF fleet allows the UK to maintain parity with Allied forces while contributing to NATO's collective situational awareness. Simultaneously, the production of US variants within the UK strengthens bilateral ties and ensures that both nations operate compatible systems, enabling seamless joint operations in complex operational environments. The program highlights the increasing convergence of industrial, technological, and operational priorities between the UK and the US, reinforcing a shared vision for future coalition readiness. Defense analysts widely view the initiative as a forward-looking strategy that balances operational necessity with industrial policy. By sharing the workload for E-7 production, Britain and the United States mitigate risks associated with supply chain disruptions, accelerate fleet modernization, and create a framework for rapid response in crisis situations. The program exemplifies the strategic value of integrating allied industrial capacities, combining technological innovation with workforce development, and ensuring long-term sustainability for high-value defense assets. It also signals to global observers that NATO's principal contributors are committed to maintaining advanced surveillance capabilities and a shared operational edge in a rapidly evolving threat environment. 
As the E-7 wedge tail program advances, the collaborative momentum between the UK and US sets a precedent for future defense projects. With British facilities modifying prototypes for American service and extensive supplier networks engaged across both nations, the initiative represents more than a production contract, it is a tangible expression of transatlantic strategic partnership. The aircraft will not only replace aging fleets but also provide next-generation capabilities for command, control, and situational awareness, reinforcing NATO's collective readiness and resilience. By bridging industrial and operational efforts, the UK and US are shaping the future of airborne surveillance, demonstrating the enduring value of allied cooperation in meeting the security challenges of the 21st century. In conclusion, the UK's decision to manufacture E-7 wedge-tail aircraft for the United States Air Force marks a historic turning point in defense collaboration. It reflects a sophisticated blend of industrial strategy, workforce development, and operational necessity, ensuring that both nations maintain cutting-edge airborne surveillance capabilities. With advanced radar technology, interoperability benefits, and shared industrial responsibility, the program strengthens NATO's intelligence and reconnaissance infrastructure while enhancing collective readiness against global threats. As the aircraft enter service, they will play a pivotal role in maintaining air superiority, supporting joint operations, and reinforcing the enduring strategic partnership between the United Kingdom and the United States.